All right, I am live here at the main gate to SpaceX launch site, Texas, Starbase, 2022, February 4th, Paul S. Mamakos, Ocean Camera Space Corp. I can tell you, it is night time. It is, uh, what time is it? 6.41 in the evening. 6.41 in the evening. 6.41 in the evening. And, man, it's uh, it's cold out here, everybody. Um, what I can tell you also is not sure what they did today. Of course, uh, some of the recent news yesterday was that they're planning to stack everything by Thursday this coming week. Thursday, February 10th, they're planning to have the Booster 4 over there on the orbital launch pad and the Starship stacked on top of it because um, this coming Thursday night, they're going to have a 8 p.m., I believe, I believe what I've heard through the grapevine, RGV aerial photography, questioned Elon about uh, whether there was going to be a stacking uh, for the, uh, I think they're doing a Starship update this coming Thursday night, the February 10th. So, and Elon did reply that yes, yes, the Starship would be stacked this coming Thursday. So in about uh, six days, they're looking to have a lot of work uh, completed here. And uh, earlier tonight, this evening, I just uh, reset up the remote camera over there at the Ocean Cam uh, remote camera location. It is a very secret location, uh, known only to myself and a few other individuals. But it's a, it's a very special spot because that will allow us to see the launches here at the SpaceX launch site from close up. So the, the idea is to develop that technology to be able to do that remote video photography, work out all the kinks so that when the launches and the static fires come up, we can uh, be live for that. But uh, so uh, Maria Pointer was down here earlier taking video photography and she had mentioned to me that she, um, not sure what was going on here during the test. They started the road closure this morning at six in the morning and it, it just ended a, a, about three, four hours ago. It was a, um, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. road closure. I don't know if it ended early or not, but I'm not sure what the uh, big big thing happening today was. I know uh, Maria got a shot of a nitrogen tanker over there at the roadblock, um, but not sure. I haven't done any research into what other people saw. I know the Lab Padre camera was here, and uh, not sure what else was going on, but um, yeah, so this is a shot. What I can tell you also, it's supposed to get uh, around 31 degrees Fahrenheit here tonight. Last night was kind of the first night, the first evening, morning, this and this morning, was the first uh, time it really got to freezing temperatures here in the last, uh, maybe a year, about a year, since uh, last February when it froze out here. Um, I remember last year is when they, I believe they had to get the oil, um, uh, use the oil to unfreeze the uh, the windmills so yeah if it uh, if we get snow or something like that we might have another situation like that here in uh, Texas but um, yeah my fingers were getting so cold I could hardly uh, turn my, start the truck here <laughs> so um, I'm about four minutes into this stream here and uh, I, I'm not going to be going that to any lengthy period here tonight. Um, so I did add some ropes to the... There was some... Tom Tech yesterday had mentioned to maybe add some ropes to the remote camera. Uh, and we had a 45 degree from the, from the uh, camera container to stop some of the shaking. So I added two ropes to it. Kind of centered the, the shot on the launch side here. And uh, when I got to the, so the remote camera had been live for 61 hours. And when I got to the camera, the uh, both the computer and the camera were off. The, they were both powered off. So I don't know if I have a, uh, like a four day or three day 
thing on the computer where it shuts off after three or four days or maybe it was uh, the solar panels uh, I don't know but um, there's got uh, there's a lot of good battery power when I got back there was over 12 point uh, it was 12 point something on the uh, voltage on the battery so the bolt the, the batteries um, I think they're great they they were there's no way they could get discharged in that amount of time so yeah I'm not sure why the computer shut off if anyone has any uh, thing they'd like to see, let me know. Um, this is the iPhone Pro 12 Max. So I got some good, this is really good with the night shots. If you have an iPhone, uh, night shots are awesome with this. You don't have to adjust the ISO or anything like that. So, Although I believe you can, you can do some extra stuff. Uh, I see some lights on here on the over launch platform. There are some lights on the quick disconnect area up there. And um, I can hear the hear the, uh, the ringing of the cables in the wind here. It's still kind of windy. Uh, earlier today, well, this 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 evening, what I saw was the SPMT coming down the road. I did a brief uh, shot of that as it was passing by. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. Um, yeah, so we see uh, I see two SPMTs here. One, two, going away from us vertically. I'll use my hand see what we got we got one here and the other one here so there's two SPMTs here and uh, it was mentioned in uh, one of the comments of that video that those are very likely for the booster 4 so uh, that they are ready maybe to, to begin that move of the booster 4 once they do whatever it is that they're doing um, with the booster 4 here maybe that um, big crane there was just to uh, give it some stability in the heavy wind we've had over the last uh, two days at least so that uh, I believe the uh, maybe that big crane there in addition to I uh, you know I heard that it was uh, put there to keep it for depressurization so it didn't crumple like a can but uh, we did have a lot of wind here and it's, it's, it's likely they use that crane there the Marvin crane or these white SpaceX crane to keep the booster stable during the wind so uh, they've got the SPMTs there they got the booster uh, they're probably gonna have to clear out some of the pathway back there around the SPM uh, around the booster four so that they can get the SPMTs in there and um, I use a crane to offload it off of the stand and uh, just uh, move it over with the uh, scoot it over toward the orbital launch platform that's it it's a Friday night I want to make sure I got out here and see if I could figure out what was going on with the camera it didn't seem to be anything special I just had to turn the power back on and recenter the uh, the camera onto the launch site from the remote camera and then I went live I checked a few things but uh, everything looks good even though we got freezing temperatures last night I did look to see what the what temperatures the I what the Nikon P1000 could withstand and, and people use that in freezing temperatures all the time so I mean down below zero degrees Fahrenheit so we should be great here with that camera you know I was uh, a little concerned about the wind and the knocking and maybe injuring something on the Nikon camera but it stood up fine it looks good and even though we had freezing temperatures and everything and we had rain and everything it was fine so that was good I'm real happy about that I'm debating I'm debating next week whether or not to keep the Nikon over there for the the big events here it might be nice to do live streams from here uh, with the Nikon camera and be able to get the close-ups of the I know where the last time they, they did a stacking here I was able to be here with the Nikon and do a live stream with that um, so uh, and I got some great shots from right right over toward the uh, toward the beach um, they had us all move toward the beach and they they had this whole area blocked off with with the sheriff had blocked off the area close to the uh, over launch platform but we were able to be over there toward the beach uh, there was a road closure and um, we got to I got some of that footage and uh, they even played some music at the end of it when they did the stacking so maybe we got some exciting times this week and I'm gonna wrap it up here that that covers everything that I can think of and I do see Cosmic Jim's trailer down there I don't know if he's watching but uh, hello to Cosmic Professor Jim and uh, and that's it wrapping it up Paul Mox Ocean Camera Space Corp glad to see y'all check tuning in 
Uh, I know it's a little bit odd when I have the other remote camera going in there. There's no audio or anything like that. It's uh, no commentary, but that, yeah, I'm sorry for that. But um, I'm doing my best here to keep moving it forward. And, uh, and I do appreciate the support from um, Drones Toronto. And, um, and thanks, Michael. And, and Michael also, Michael P. And several of you. Uh, Etienne recently and many many of y'all over the last uh, 11 months to keep this thing going and support it yeah thanks so this is gonna be a great week I believe and I uh, wish you guys the best of weekends um, I love the uh, community and uh, if there's any way we can collaborate on anything move uh, move each other's lives forward and help each other out and if anyone wants to join the team let me know I uh, have a lot of skills about stuff, you know, different skills, and and uh, if, uh, if and I'm looking to fill the board here. There's I got some board seats. I met a I met a gentleman here this last week who was um, who was uh, maybe working for uh, Lockheed Martin, and but he had an awesome telescope and a camera, and he had a very knowledgeable guy. So uh, it was nice to make that acquaintance and. Um, I know there's a bunch of people like that that work for NASA and the other Raytheon and other types of things. You're welcome to contact me if you don't want to be on camera or you don't want to whatever. If you have any ideas about how we can improve any, anything like the video setup or anything with the mission to go to these other moons or go to at least one moon with a dual mission, if you have any uh, designs you want to send us about uh, a, 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 remote, a remote camera or a drone or a uh, maybe a a signal uh, antenna or um, a space communication system or something like that you know send it to me by email on o info at oceancam.space if you're just really knowledgeable about whatever it is uh, send us a message and uh, move us forward you know it's not all about money but um, if you have any ideas that can help us out send me a message or if you want to share uh, something you've been thinking about or whatever you know I'm here helping you out you got your eyes are hear me help me out we're helping each other out and it's an exciting time in human history uh, all right I'm wrapping it up uh, get in front of the camera briefly I'm holding an umbrella for the microphone Paul Espamacos wearing a hat as well it is cold out here everybody. thanks for everything and uh, see you soon see you soon everybody signing out signing out not sure what's going on with Booster 4, but it looks like they're going to do the stacking soon. Stacking this Thursday. So be sure to watch uh, everybody's channels. Uh, uh, Ocean Camera Space Corp, Lab Padre, NSF, um, Jessica Kirsch, uh, e, uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, Cosmic Perspective, and uh, there's. I'm trying to remember one specific name, but um, Mars Embassy... Yeah, there's one other guy. Uh, Maria Pointer. Um, yeah, there's one man. One man I'm missing. But thank you, everybody. Good night. Have a good weekend. Uh, awesome. Be well. Be well. Awesome.